thank you very much, Mr. President. It's, it's a big happiness for me, and I'm very proud. Okay, I will start from my questions. Uh, situation in Syria become uh, more dangerous and more unpredictable. Why? Because this conflict uh, draw in draw inside uh, more participants and more players. For example, who we have now in Syria on the war? Iran, Lebanon, I mean Hezbollah, Russia, mm -hmm. Turkey, USA with a big co huge coalition, mm -hmm. China show interest. I mean, uh, do you have any concerns uh, that this conflict result in Third World War? Or maybe it's already beginning of Third World War. The Russian, Iran and Hezbollah are our allies and they came here legally. They support us again, yeah. the terrorists. While the other countries that you described who are interfering, they are supporting the terrorists. So it's not about the number, it's about the main issue of the terrorism. Uh, second, it's about the word War Three. <laughs> this term has been used recently a lot, especially after the recent escalation uh, regarding the, the situation in, in Syria. Uh, I would say what we have now, what we've been seeing recently during the last few weeks and maybe few months, is something like a more than Cold War, less than war, a full-blown war. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what, what, what to call it, but it's not something that has existed recently because I don't think that the West, and especially the United States, uh, has stopped their Cold War even after the collapse of the Soviet Union. So yes, it's you going, have, going on. Yeah, yeah, you have many stages uh, in that regard. And Syria, one of, of these important stages, you see more escalation than before, but the whole issue is about keeping the hegemony of the American around the world, not allowing anyone to be partner uh, on, the, on the political or international arena, whether Russia or even their allies in the West. So this is the, the, the essence of this war that you describe as Third World War that exists. It is a world war, but it's not military war. Part of it is military, mm -hmm. part of it is terrorism and security, and other part is political. So you're, you're correct, but in different way, not only about Syria. Syria mm -hmm. part of this war. But you thought uh, Syria became stage of this war. Yeah. Why Syria? I mean, okay, you are a big country. Uh, I mean, yeah. but you have oil, but not like Saudi Arabia. Why exactly Syria? It has many aspects. The first one, if you want to talk about the regional conflict, Syria has good relation with Iran. And Saudi Arabia wanted to... Uh, uh, let's say, to destroy Iran completely, maybe in the political sense and maybe in the uh, material sense mm -hmm. or factual sense uh, for different reasons. Uh, so they wanted Syria to, to go against Iran. Uh, that's why destroying Syria could affect Iran negatively. That's how we look at it. The West, for them, Syria and Russia are allies for decades now. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, if we undermine the position of Syria, we can influence the Russians negatively. But there's something else. It's about the historical role of Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, Syria has played that role in the region for, for centuries. It was always the hub of uh, the geopolitical dy dynamic mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in the Middle East. So controlling Syria, seeing the Pharaohs, it's before the Christ, seeing mm -hmm. the Pharaohs, they used to fight for Syria, the Pharaohs and the Hethis. This is historical uh, basis. Uh, so it has a role, uh, geopolitics, uh, the position of the Mediterranean, the society, because Syria is the, the fault line between the different cultures in mm -hmm. this region. Whatever happens in Syria will influence the region negatively and positively. So controlling Syria is very important, although Syria is small, it's very important to control the rest uh, of the region. Second, Syria is an independent country. And the West doesn't accept any independent country, whether Syria is a small country or Russia is a great power. What's their problem with Russia? Because you say yes and no. You have to keep saying yes. So that's the problem with the West. So th that's why it's Syria. Some Western media affirm that the war in Syria now became straight conflict between Russia and USA. Hmm. You agree with this? Yeah, for a simple reason. When I said at the very beginning that the issue about the terrorism, Russia wanted to fight terrorism for different reasons, not only for Syria, not only for Russia, for the rest of the region, for, for, for Europe, for, for the rest of the world. Uh, they understand uh, what the meaning of uh, terrorism prevailing in certain areas. While the United States have always, since Afghanistan in the early 80s, till this day, they think terrorism is a card you can play. You can yes. put it on the table. <laughs> you can put it in your pocket and put it on the, on the table anytime. So you're talking about 
two different entities, two different ideologies, two different behavior, mm -hmm. uh, two different approach. Uh, that's natural to have this conflict. Even if there's dialogue, they're not on the same page. Mm -hmm.